Okay guys, so basically the permission in St. Paul's and that field didn't work out. So what I figured I'd do is I'd make a, a video of this old cabin. So I've done some research on it. And basically this is like one of the original cabins from like the 1700s for the county that we're in. So um, it's really old. I tried to get a hold of the historical society, but they haven't contacted me back. But you can tell, I mean, look how old it is. And the other thing is, is I, I want to come in here and metal detect, but I have to get permission first. And honestly, I probably need permission just to make this video, but I'm doing it anyways. But um, the railroad owns it now. So the old lady that used to live back here died. Then her family sold it to the railroad. So you can see how old it is. I don't know. I still think this is a well because I used to live in an old house and it had a well right on the porch and you could go out and pump water out of it. But I am definitely going to be working on it. I don't know why this, that is a chalkboard though. I don't know why that would even be in here. But I figured we'd come in here and explore since that place I was metal detecting didn't work out. I didn't find anything. I found a few old horseshoes and that was it. I mean, it's pretty trashy. I mean, I don't know. Maybe I could even find some old bottles back here. This is all modern trash. see anything so far i mean obviously the, the the structures are i mean even this is old i mean this is all old but one of them i would say it was this one but it's weird how that that like barn over there is made out of the same it's the same type of log cabin but the guy that owns the property next to it he told me that the lady that owned it before she died she was on a get it like a historical marker but then she just never did it so i think that's why i'm having so much uh, problems because see a lot of times they don't want people to know that this is there's a lot of history back here because then they they don't they don't they won't let them tear it down and this is a, as far as i've been back here there's actually another building back here so there's a barn here and it looks like there's another building back here But I'd say one of them, at least, I think that front part and that barn, well, look how old this is. I mean, look at that. You can tell by the fireplace or the chimney. But uh, I say it dates back close to, you know, 1780, 1790, because this is one of the original cabins. You know, basically like on the, when they started coming into this county, it was just full of Indians and stuff. And this is basically one of the original. There was only eight. There was eight different cabins. I have an old map, but I've have, I'm having a hard time finding this place. You know what I mean? And most of it just because I don't have a, a reference point. I mean, it's kind of hard to track down something if you don't know where you're at. I mean, I can't tell how. But I don't, I don't have any idea. I mean, this is more or less a barn. I mean, they had animals in here. I mean, there's a water trough right there. But I don't know how long ago that lady that lived here passed away. That's the back of it. It's weird too, beside, right beside it, there's a big giant hill. But what it is is that across the road, they dug out a pond and they put all the dirt back here. But I'd still love to come back here. I mean, it, it is kind of trashy, but I mean, just to come back here just to see, you know, I mean, it'd be worth it just to see if I could find something. But there's a lot of stuff back here, that's for sure. I'm gonna 
open this just to check it out. Hopefully nothing jumps out at us. But there's no way I'd come back here at night time. No way. But see, after it gets growed up, you won't even be able to come back in. And that, that's not even saying. I mean, it might be possible. I can't even melt that because it's so trashed. But you ain't gonna know until you get in here and start swinging through here with a detector. Because there's a lot of trash laying on the ground. So far i haven't seen anything old but like i said a lot of people there's a lot of people that look for bottles and stuff man someone's probably already been here and went through here and anything that they could find they've already taken yeah, i think there's one or two I guess those bricks are pretty old. When I was over here the other day, the way the light, it looked like they were, they weren't as old. But I mean, you, that well is old. I just don't, the only thing I don't understand is the concrete. You know, so, you know, is this the original location? I mean, I don't, I'm not for sure. I would say it is because look how much stuff's here. <laughs> you know what I mean? I'm sure, I mean, they might have moved this cabin here. But you know what I'm saying? Look at it. It's just the coolest thing I've ever seen, especially out here like this, man. This would be something that would be in a, a museum or like over in Gross City, they have that little historical part. This kind of stuff would be in there. And like I said, this part here is built out of the same stuff. This, you know, this is what I don't get. See how this is in here like that? But like I said, I'm going to have to go to the railroad to get, I know where it's at, where I got to go. I just don't know if they'll give me permission. Because like I said, I mean, there's, the only thing like now, there's no trespassing signs. So if someone come back here and said something to me, I'd just say, well, I didn't know. No, I didn't see any trespassing signs. Because there's not no trespassing signs back here. <laughs> I mean, I thought that was a crock, but that's like a modern flower base there. And like I said, you really can't see it from the road. You got to really look back up in here. And the town, the town, this is a town. It's a ghost town, more or less. But there used to be a town here, and the reason is because the railroad. So the railroad come. there's actually a mill down here that's closed down that you can tell it's old, too. But at one time, this this was a little hopping community. And like I said, that this place back here was one of the original places before they even started selling property and stuff back in here. So who knows? I mean, the original people that built these probably got killed by the Indians or something. I don't know. But it's been back here so long. It's just like they've redone everything kind of spooky i thought i just heard something did you hear it <laughs> but see how that big pile of dirt is there that's actually where they dug a pond across the street and they dumped all the dirt over here i thought that was weird but you can tell like they've redone it and everything i mean you know like it's insulation i mean who knows but it, like i said it's been here for over 200 years well i hope you guys enjoyed this little short video and like i said i'm gonna work on getting this permission I just don't know for sure if I'll be able to. I'm going to focus on it next week and hopefully I can get in here. Because I want to get in here before it starts warming up and all this stuff gets overgrown. Not saying I don't know if we'll find anything, but it's just a cool place. And like I said, I've, I know people that have been to places that the railroad owns and they have a hard time. So I don't know what they'll tell me. They might just say okay, but I just don't know. And the railroad itself is not even from the state. It's from another state. 
but they do have an office here then and like i said i've contacted the historical society i just don't know that much more about it i just know for sure that it's one of the original eight cabins so it has to date back to about the 17th the late 1700s and just by looking at it you know you can tell it's old but we will definitely get into it i, I mean i want to go next door because the guy that lives in a, the lot next to this he he told me a little bit of the history but like i said i just got back from metal detecting and i really didn't i just didn't pay attention that much because i was so tired i just figured I, I figured i could go and i'd find find it quick but i didn't because actually now that the railroad owns it even on my app it won't even tell me how old the property is but it just says the railroad owns it so i hope you guys enjoyed this video i'll see you guys on the next one Bye.